Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the bench. And today it's going to be a kind of a special thing. A couple things to talk about. Um, but a month ago, exactly, I bought some blending tobacco. I blended it up. I put it in a press and I pressed it hard. So today we're going to open it. 30 days pressed tobacco. And that's what's going on at Noah's house. <music> All right, guys, a couple things to talk about. One, I shaved. Look at that. I haven't shaved in years. I think it's been four years since I've shaved my beard. But I did this just to mess with my daughter because I talked about shaving and I said, I'm going to get me a nice mustache. And she said, please don't, please don't. So she's still sleeping because she's 18 years old. And uh, I've yet to surprise her with this. But I'll probably end up shaving it off. Although I like it. I think I look pretty dashing. Kind of like uh, McConaughey from uh, the 70s. Uh, Days and Confused. <laughs> but I don't know. But the reason we are here is this little guy. So I watched some uh, different videos on YouTube about people pressing their own tobaccos. How do they do it? And people were using this. This is actually for making pasta. Um... Amazon find, like 14 bucks maybe. So I got it, watched a couple more videos. I had some blending tobacco. I blended it up and I pressed it. If you can see on 310, today is 410, which makes it 30 days. Um, I did put wax paper in there. Some people suggested that. Um, watching some other videos, I'm thinking maybe a month was too long. But anyways, we're gonna find out. Um, I have a board, I have a knife. I'm gonna pop this out of here. I'm gonna slice it. And then I got my Blakemar Briar large billiard here, and we're gonna smoke it. So let me bring the camera in and let's open this thing up. Yeah. Okay, here we are. Got the camera focused in there. Here it is. Like I said, pretty cool little press. Like I said, 310. Look, I even labeled it. So this end just screws on, this screws on, and it's a press. Um Thinking these come off for cleaning purposes. Definitely not super high quality, but hey. So let's let's loosen that guy up. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. And loosen in the bottom. And I did put a piece of aluminum foil down in there. I saw that on a video too. This was wax paper. Oh, it has a funky smell. Mm, very, very strange. There's wax paper on the bottom. And now I'm going to use the press to press it out. Here it comes. Now there's a little bit of, little bit of juice in there. If you can see that. A little bit of tobacco juice. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is all about um, it is kind of moist it's a piece of wax paper there now I think if I remember right and I didn't make a video of doing this which thinking back now I probably should have but I think there's actually wax paper right around here there is see that that's wax paper there oh <laughs> There we go. Let's get this wax paper off. Ooh, it's definitely dark. Looks like, uh, to me anyways, looks like an old red man plug. Me and my cousin used to chew that stuff when we were way younger than what we should have. But we did it anyways. What are you going to do? That was the 80s. Wow, it's really dark. I don't know if you can see that zoom in whoa but it's really dark and i'm gonna get the rest of this off and bring you back we'll slice up a little piece put her in the pipe give me a minute now 
got the wax paper off, and I made a nice little round cylindrical plug of tobacco. Smells very sweet. I swear it smells like Red Man. Oh, take me back to my youth, I'll tell you what. Um, I don't even know if they still make, but I think they make Red Man. I don't think they make Red Man plug. So I got a knife. This is the knife that was used in the best video I've ever put on YouTube. Uh, tucking into some Samuel Golf uh, Black Double X. So I'm going to slice. I don't know how I should. I don't know if I want to go that way. I want to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to. I'm going to go this way with this one. Oh, I don't want to cut into there. So I do have a little board. That is really. I was going to take a picture, but I'm using the camera or the phone. Yeah, let's go this way. Why not? Check that out. The layers of the tobacco that are all pressed in. Hopefully that's not too too far out. It is moist. Boy, is it moist. I'm still going to try to smoke some straight away. But uh, there you go. It's almost like a flake. I made some flake tobacco. Oh, it's definitely moist. Where the moisture comes from, I don't know. Um, I'll tell you what, though. I'm really, I'm really thrilled that I did this. I'm definitely going to put this in a jar and uh, just let it sit for even a little while longer. And that's about all I'm going to put in the old pipe today. Just to, I just want to give it a go. Um, I'm excited. This is very interesting. So I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to have a seat and I'll tell you what tobaccos I have in it, how exactly I did this, and uh, we'll go from there. Ah, I'm digging. Uh, this is awesome. I'll be right back. Okay, she's cut. Um, this is amazing. Um, maybe it's not amazing to everybody, but I think it's really cool that I did this. It's really dark. It's really moist. Um, I was not expecting it uh, to be that moist. I thought it was actually going to be really dry. But, like I said, I can't wait to, uh, to get it in a jar and let it sit for a little bit. Like I said, that's, well, that's pretty cool. Here it is taken. Like I said, a few bucks. It's really fun to just try this stuff. So I didn't pre-pack it and pre-light. It almost, it is really moist. Probably could let it dry out a little more. But I'm just going to go for it. You know, why not? Why not? Um, I was going to go exchange it out for a smaller pipe. But the Blake Mars up for today. So that's what I'm smoking it out of. Um, it has a weird consistency. I'm thinking if it dried more, it'd be a little bit better. And it's sticky. And I'll go over the little recipe that I used. And I didn't look this recipe up or anything like that. I just... I bought some blending tobaccos to try. And I blended some. And uh, smoked them. And they were not very good. <laughs> but I'm just trying. I like to try some stuff. All right, I'll tell you what, I think, I'm thinking, I'm going to use a match to spark this up. And I'm doing this, there's no, you know, this may not even work, it may not even burn, it may make me cough and throw up. If it does, then I won't publish that video. Here we go, that was blend number one. Well, I'm happy that it lights. And it didn't really taste that bad. On the char light, we'll let that sit for a second. Get this guy on his board up to there. It is one tight little compressed pack. It, look, it, I'm thinking that that's, I may let this one just dry and then cut it into flakes. Maybe I'll let that with half. I'll cut some into flakes now and let them dry. I don't know. But it did light. It has a pleasant smell. Like I said, it's kind of sweet. 
It reminds a little, little bit of funk in there. Uh, it smells like Red Man. It really does. It has that sweetened, and I didn't put any toppings, nothing like that on there, no casings, because I wouldn't even know how to do that. It's got a kick to it, I'll tell you that. Mmm. It's different. It's got a little bitterness to it, a little, little bitter bite right across the middle of your tongue. You know what I mean? Maybe you don't. Mm. I thought it was going to taste sweeter because of how it smells, but it does not. A cup of coffee. Like I said, today is Sunday, April 10th in North Versailles. It is 34 degrees outside. If you've been following some gardening stuff, I have some potatoes. I planted some carrots and stuff. They're all covered. And I'm worried I had a big radish loss because two weekends ago, it was 12 overnight. Anyway, it's cold. I wanted to do this. Tune in for some more gardening stuff. But anyways, the recipe. So, this was the pipe blend I came up with. And I have a digital scale that I use for canning and for cooking. And I just got a big stainless steel bowl, zeroed it out. I put in 15 grams of low country Virginia, 7 grams of white burley, 10 grams of mixing perique, and 10 grams of black cavendish. Put it all in the bowl, toss it around, mix it by hand, flipped it around. Like I said, I didn't record it, which I should have, but I just didn't. Um, and then I, I got it. Uh, lined this with wax paper because there was a guy's video I watched, and he said it comes out a lot easier and doesn't stain the sides as much, and he was 100% right. Um, like I said, this little guy here, which it comes with different attachments. None of them are, none of them have a solid bottom. And I watched several different videos, and some just put some wax paper down there, some different stuff. <laughs> Look at that. That's good for the wax paper, but I put, um, that's aluminum foil, and I did pick this attachment that had the smallest holes. Put some aluminum foil down there. I think maybe two layers. And that really worked out well. So I am going to jar this up though. Put that in the jar. Let me slice a few flakes just to put it in the jar. Maybe half, half the plug I'm going to slice in the flakes and let them dry. Might even let them sit out and dry. I'm not sure if that's a thing. But I'm pretty excited that uh that I made some pressed tobacco. And hmm, it smokes. It's not that bad. Um, I don't know why I they, these are the I don't know why I added on in what I did. I think I would like to get some, I still have some of this left. I think I'm going to try to make a vapor. Hmm. I'll get a pencil. Woo. Draw my pencil. I am going to put number one on here. And yeah, I think I'm going to try to make a vapor next time. And I think it, oh, I wanted the way the plug when it came out. Let me see if it lost weight or somehow it gained weight with moisture. I'm not really sure. That's okay. 
I like the amount and the size of the plug that came out. So, um, I'm probably going to try to add up the grams and get that with the uh, making a vapor. For being so moist, it's not burning that bad. That's pretty cool. I can't believe I made that. Well, it isn't like a grew the tobacco or anything. But still, I did make it. I did press it. And I'm pretty excited about that. And I'm glad you guys were here to watch me unhinge the uh, pressed tobacco. But I hear people stirring upstairs, which means my daughter's probably up. It's time to show off this dazzling mustache that I shaved in last night um lots of gardening videos coming out rv videos are going to be coming out the weather's not cooperating with me to work on it but they're coming out more of pipe videos coming out for sure and i'm real excited i'm glad you were here and that's what's going on at noah's house today thanks for watching bye